One of the best places to start with any photo edit is within the light tool. And it's no coincidence that you'll find it in the essentials tab at the very top of the list. So in this video, we'll take a look at that tool and the features within it that are gonna give your photos an absolutely rock solid foundation to build upon. We'll start with the white balance, then look at exposure and contrast, and then we'll move forward into the advanced section. So let's get started. So here we have three images that we're going to work on. As you can see, these last two look pretty underexposed and dark on the people. And this image here was shot on a really nice hot sunny day, but it kind of doesn't really feel like it. So let's see what we can do. Let's come over to the edit tab, come to essentials, and then click on the light tool. From this drop down here, you'll see this first section here is all to do with the white balance and the color temperature. The number here represents the color temperature in Kelvin, but you don't need to really concern yourself with that. All you need to know is if you go to the left, things get blue. If things come to the right, things get orange. So we're warming things up to the right, cooling them down to the left. And normally for daylight, things sit somewhere around this middle region here. So if I want to warm this photograph up, what I can do is just grab the slider and move it slightly to the right so it's still believable, but we're getting a lovely sense of that summer warmth. The tint below just deals with the greens and the magenta. And normally I find you don't need to move this slider too far, but in this case, you might just wanna push it a little bit into the magenta, which again is helping with that sense of warming the image up. Color temperature is a great way to imbue your photography with a sense of warmth or coolness. But the other thing you can do is go for a much more accurate representation of the scene as it was captured. And you can either do that by trying to fine tune the color balance yourself or grab this eyedropper tool here and then find a place within the scene which should be neutral. So we've got a couple of options. You've got the white black of the football here or within the wheel here, I can see a little area of shadow right there. So if I click on that, Luminar has done a great job of neutralizing the colors within this photo and giving me a very accurate representation of the true color balance on the day. For my aesthetic preference, I would actually warm this up slightly and bring in that nice warm tone. In this example, let's have a quick look at what we can do. As you can see, there's a nice bright highlight through here where the sun's setting, but it's a little blown out. It's too bright in this area here. The area of interest should probably be the subjects. So that's me with my two children. So let's see what we can do to actually improve this photograph just using the light tool. Let's open up the panel. And first of all, we're greeted with the temperature sliders. So if we want, we can warm this up slightly and we can grab the magenta and perhaps boost that up a little bit. And now we've got a much more pleasing color palette to work with. From here, I'm gonna boost the exposure slightly. Now, as you can see, we get a nice exposure on the people within the photograph, but we're starting to lose all of that lovely richness and detail that we had in the sky here. So let's see what we can do about that using these other sliders. Let's bring the exposure just down slightly so we've still got some detail in the sky. And now using the highlight slider, let's bring that to the left. And as you can see, we just recover some of that detail there in the sky. And what we can do now is use the shadow slider just to bring up a little bit of that detail on the foreground and the subjects within the photo. Now that's looking heaps better. Let's have a quick look at our before and after. Before and after a really marked improvement but let's take things one step further and dive into the advanced settings here we now have access to the whites and the blacks now these are talking to the very brightest and the very darkest parts of the image so if your blacks are washed out you can actually grab this slider and bring them down to create a true black but i'm happy where the, they are within our photograph so i'll just double click that to reset it because things in the sky are getting a little bleached out, I might just grab the white slider and bring that down to the left. You can see on the right hand side of the image that we're actually recovering quite a bit of detail there. If I reset it and then drag it again, you'll see on that area there, that's bringing in a nice bit of detail. And what you can do with these sliders is just jump around between them until you've tweaked things to get them exactly as you like. So we might wanna bring up the exposure again slightly. We might wanna add in a little more contrast. Now we've done some other adjustments and perhaps we don't need to take the shadows quite as high. 
let's say we're done with that. Let's look at our before and after. Before and after, a huge improvement. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk briefly on this section here, which is the curve section. It's extremely powerful and it's quite an in-depth tool. So I'm just gonna give you a really brief overview here. This line here, if we grab it, we create a point on that line, which we can then drag up to brighten the image or down to darken the image. Depending where on this curve you actually place the points, you can actually control the luminance of your photograph, the brightness of it very precisely. So in this instance, why don't we, down on the bottom half here, bring it up slightly. The left hand side here talks to the shadows and the right hand side talks to the highlights. Let's grab another point here because we're getting quite bright in the highlights and just bring that down. If you feel like your image needs more contrast, what you can do is create an S shape within this curve by putting one up and pulling one down and that will actually increase contrast. That's not something I want to do in this image, so we'll return the curve back to its base. One other thing that curves can be really useful for is actually color toning and color grading your image. So for example, if we went into the red channel here by clicking the red dot and clicked and grabbed that line, if you bring it up, it's adding red into the image. If you bring it down, it's taking the red away. Or another way of looking at that is it's adding red's complementary color, which is cyan. So using these color channels is a really powerful way of actually creating interesting color tones and color looks to your image. So let's have a quick look at our before and after and you'll see that just through this light panel we've really created quite a difference. Here's our before and here's our after. Our before and our after. Let's look at one more image and see what we can do very quickly with what we've learned. So in this example, I'll move at a slightly quicker pace and show you how we can improve this photograph very quickly using just the light panel. So I'm gonna bring the exposure up somewhere around there. I'm gonna add a little contrast. Perhaps we'll bring the highlights down just to protect them. Boost up the shadows and that's bringing up the detail in the other side of his face there. The whites and blacks look pretty good where they are. And if I wanted to add some contrast, let me come to this channel here bring that down, boost that up. Maybe we don't wanna boost that up too much. Leave that there and we can say, here's our before, here's our after, and we really improved that photograph really quickly. As you can see, what you've got at your fingertips inside the light tool is extremely powerful. It enables you to give your photograph a really strong basis for you then to go in creative directions from there. Or you can use that panel on its own to create a really striking image that's faithful to the original. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video.